Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Dunn Staley and Caitlin Clark. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to the channel, liking and sharing these videos. Now let's go. So here we are back on this topic of Caitlin Clark being snubbed for the Olympics USA women's basketball team. Now, the reason we're back on this topic is because of one of the Olympics women's basketball team committee members, Dunn Staley, recent interview, and we're going to get into that. But I think it's safe to say that we all know that Caitlin Clark was overlooked like that sniper on the roof at Donald Trump rally in Pennsylvania when it comes to this Olympics. The Secret Service didn't see him, and clearly the USA Women's Olympics Committee didn't see Caitlin Clark. Now, we can all agree that Caitlin Clark is an amazing basketball player. She has really been doing her thing under the circumstances that she's dealing with. You know, with Chris size, a lot of people feeling like she is not the best coach and that she kind of hinders Caitlin Clark. But through it all, Caitlin Clark still performed and she still get her points and she also still get her teammates involved. Now, she has broke a lot of records, um, assist leader, points, you name it, as a rookie. But she also had a lot of turnovers like apple pie. So Dunn Staley, who is a part of the USA Women's Basketball Team Selection Committee, appears to have a little slight change of heart about Caitlin Clark not being chosen to be on the team. Now, Caitlin Clark seems to allegedly responded to this with a little subtle response. Because one thing about Caitlin Clark, she always be on social media. Even though she says she don't, she do. Now, I'm not saying... Her response is directly about this, but the timing of it just seems a little odd. Maybe nothing, though. So, Dunn Staley did an interview with Mike Tirico on NBC, and she had posted this. Thank you, Mike Tirico, for allowing me to share in your space. You're the ultimate professional and make things super comfortable at NBC to be your guest for Olympic Games Paris 2024. If it's wrong, I don't want to be right. Now, this um interview that she did, where she talked about Caden Clark and what was asked about Caden Clark, that was six hours ago when she had posted that. But then, four hours ago, which would be two hours after uh, um, Dunn Staley had posted this, Caitlin Clark had put this in her stories when her photographer had posted a picture of her and her teammates. Now, like I say, it may not mean nothing, but it's just ironic that Caitlin Clark came back with this post directly after that. You know, hey, it is what it is. But let's get into Dunn Staley talking about Caitlin Clark not being on the team and how she feels now compared to how she felt then. There's so much conversation about women's basketball, the run you at South Carolina had to the national championship, a perfect season, obviously Caitlin Clark. And there was so much conversation on should Caitlin be on the U.S. women's national team? You were part of the selection group. Mm -hmm. Give me your read on that now that we've got a little bit of time and we can uh, get into some clear air to see what happened. Right. When, as, a, as a committee member, you're, you're charged with putting together best team of, of players, the best talent. Um, Caitlin is just a rookie in the WNBA, uh, wasn't playing bad, but wasn't playing like she's playing now. If we had to do it all over again, the way that she's playing, um, she would be in really high consideration of making the team because she is playing head and shoulders above a lot of people, shooting the ball extremely well. I mean, she is an elite passer. Um, she's just got a great basketball IQ, and she's a little more seasoned. In, in, the, in the pro game? In a couple this, of months. Yeah, in a couple of months yeah, than she was two months ago. So someone on X responded to Dunn Staley NBC interview, basically calling her out for not being truthful about Caitlin Clark performance in the first half of the WNBA season compared to others. He said this, why is Dunn Staley flat out lying on national TV like this about Caitlin Clark? These were Caitlin's numbers when the team got announced. So, no, she wasn't playing then like she is now, but who here was definitely better? So, what he referring to is this, and I'm going to show you. So, is Don Staley saying that Caitlin Clark is playing better now, like a more like a pro level? Well, the guy posted this, and this right here is stat charts of the first half 
uh, I think it was like the first 11 games that Don Staley referring to when they made the decision. Well, no res no disrespect to Dana Tarasi, but Caitlin Clark was actually outperforming Dana Tarasi. Now, she was kind of neck and neck with Kelsey Plum. Kelsey Plum was doing pretty good. But uh, um, Caitlin Clark had a better field goal percentage than Dana Tarasi. Um, she had better um, blocks, steals, way more assists. All of that, way more than Dana Tarasi. Now, Kelsey Plum, she um she was you no know, outperforming Caden Clark a little bit, but Caden Clark was right there with her though. So we are looking at it, Dana Tarasi is on the team, but Caden Clark outperformed her in the first couple of games, eleven games, when y'all made the decision for um who was gonna be on the USA Women's Olympic team. So Caden Clark, based upon what Don Staley is saying now. Caitlin Clark should have been on that team because these numbers right here, what they say, the proof is in the pudding and the pudding is definitely thick. So at the end of the day, it boils down to this. They basically didn't choose Caitlin Clark for various different reasons. Coming in, Caitlin Clark had this big spotlight shining like a 550 watt light bulb. Did some of them feel some type of way about that? Probably did. Would they admit it? Who knows? No. But they probably felt a certain way about that. And so what they didn't want to do, this is just my opinion, is also put her in the spotlight with the Olympics. Because the Chelsea Gray lady, she didn't even play. But she made the Olympic roster. So how did she make the Olympic roster? And she didn't even perform or even play at all. So maybe she should have been left off because she didn't even play. And so, I mean, at the end of the day, Caitlin Clark was deserving of a spot on that USA women's basketball team roster. If we're going to go by what Dunn Staley is saying now, because Caitlin Clark performance now was still good. Then it's just the team was gelling together like all of them was, but she still put on a good performance. Sure, they're going to get this right in 2028 because they know not to leave her off them four years. But I get it. She's a rookie. They didn't want to put it on it. So they made a personal decision, allegedly what I'm saying. But would it have been good for this moment for Caitlin Clark to be on the Olympics? She's been on a roll like a cinnamon. So it would have been good for her to be on there. But they missed the opportunity that they all probably feel like they should have made a better decision. But y'all get in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video, and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And also follow my social media at GertieMac15. Holla.